Hey guys, see Drum Invasion here. Welcome back to another video. Thankfully, my voice gotten a little bit better since last week, but it was a slower week, so we didn't get too much news. But there were a lot of interesting last minute dramas that started premiering at the very end of this month. So let's jump into that. But as usual, all drama titles, names, and news notes are in the description box, so check that out. Okay, so first off, we have Aichi Yi's wuxia web drama called Wan Ru's Journey. It stars Ao Rui Pang and Dang Chaoyuan. It has 24 episodes and airs on Aichi Yi. This is about a story who accidentally faked an identity of a daughter of a prominent family. She ends up in a reverse harem situation. And this is more on the comedic side of things. After that, the 40 episode Prosecution Elite starring Dil Raba and Tong Dawei airs. This is a mystery law investigation drama, and it's actually based on a true story. It airs on ITE, Tencent, and Zeche TV. This is a story about a top female student in a law school. She ends up working at the public prosecution department and she's new. So she's then paired with the police captain who's cold and ruthless. Soon they end up working together in a bunch of different cases, some involving international situations as well as cybercrime. Unfortunately, based off of early reviews, there's a bunch of side plot lines that keep on being introduced even though it's only the first few episodes therefore lots of people have dropped it let me know your thoughts on it but on the positive side Dilraba is at least using her own voice then on the 29th you have mistress insomnia waiting for you also known as sleepless night this is a sweet short rom-com story that stars snow kong and wu yu hang this is about a popular musician and a technology firm president who both suffer from chronic insomnia. They come to discover by touching one another, they can sleep in a matter of seconds. So it seems like there's a bit of fantastical element here. On the 30th, we have a drama that was actually filmed a couple years back, but is only released now. This is a short 12 episode drama that's a mystery thriller. It's called Murder Notes and it will air on Aichi starring Lu Shan and Yang Haoming. This is a drama following three strange cases that happens basically simultaneously. They're all about people that got unalived and they're all prominent figures. So one is a movie star and two of them are business CEOs. So the City Criminal Investigation Brigade soon creates a small team and tries to find the connection between these three cases. Honestly, most of these dramas are coming from IGE. So we have another one on May 31st. This is a romance fantasy web drama. Seems like they're trying to air all their web dramas before the summer break date, which is where everybody flocks towards the bigger costume dramas or bigger budget dramas. So to ship someone stars Zhu Jingting and Lu Yuxiao. This follows Ji Shu, who is a author of a very popular melodramatic romance novel. Meanwhile, the female lead is someone who is obsessed with romance novels and is now working as a TV producer. And she only cares about happy endings. So a miracle happens and one day they get basically transported into the novel and she ends up rewriting it. Definitely the classic tropey formula but can't lie sometimes when you're not in a mood for anything this might be the one. Also on the 31st is a drama that aired called The White Castle. It airs on Hunan TV and Mango TV. This is a friendship slice of life medical drama. It stars Pang Kwon Ying and Tu Song Yan. As for booting ceremonies, this week we got Gong Jun and Sun Yi in a drama that is actually a thriller mystery. So this is new for Gong Jun and we've seen rumors that 
he might be branching out of his typical high traffic actor route. So this has 24 episodes and it's called The Truth. It's produced by Tencent and it will follow the criminal technology section. Then I totally missed this last time, but um, for Chinese Valentine's Day, which was around 20th or 21st of May, we had Zhang Jingyi and Hu Yitian releasing a Harper Bazaar photo shoot special. These two are actually in a currently filming drama called Shi Hua Zhe. The team behind Amidst a Snowstorm of Love, which stars Zhao Jin Mai and Wu Lei released a new poster as they announced that they have just wrapped up filming. This is a sports romance drama that's filmed abroad so you get to see a lot of nice New York backgrounds but it follows two people who are in the professional billiards industry. I think this is so interesting. We've got to see a lot of sports stuff. I know that Wule is very active and is in love with nature and anything fitness related so makes sense to me why he's taking on these type of roles and I can't wait to see them in different roles. Zhao Jin Mai is just amazing and we know that she definitely has all the acting chops especially since Reset. Then a drama I haven't really watched or heard so much international success for but there's a third season to The Case Solver and this is a Republican era mystery drama starring Dong Xuan and Gu Jia Cheng. And if there's a third season, it's probably profitable or at least has good reviews in China. And as for the main celebrity news or I guess mini scandal that came out but got clarified was from Back From The Brinks team. This is a currently airing drama starring Zhou Ye and Neil Hall, but the author slash scriptwriter named Jiu Lu Fei Xiang stated that a post claimed that there was a different scriptwriter who wrote the first 15 episodes opposed to the last few. This is probably if you're watching, a lot of people are saying it really goes downhill in the halfway mark. And some people are saying that they kind of got sick of it or um, it kind of got messy. Well, the author said that she started writing the script from episode one and accepts that people are debating this and that about the show. She said it's not about the reviews, but she wouldn't stand for slander as her career is on the line. Therefore, she might take legal action. What are your thoughts on the drama? I did watch the first 12 or 13 episodes, so I'm almost there, but not quite. I mean, there's just so many dramas in general where the quality dips, so honestly, not even surprised. But I guess I'll hold off on my thoughts until I complete it. As for some drama rumors and drama pairings that we've got this week, we had a historical suspense drama that is rumored to cast Lee Hong Yi and Su Xiao Tong together. This is apparently from the same scriptwriter as Tianxin Mystic. The rumor so far is they're going to start beginning filming in July. And last but not least is Li Tong and Joseph Zheng in an Aichi drama. This is supposed to be some type of rom-com costume romance. And I really hope that next year will be Li Tong's year because she's been in the industry for quite a while and took on a bunch of various roles from melodramatic to cool action-packed. And unfortunately, I haven't seen her really have that internationally breakthrough role. And let's do the emoji game where basically lots of people are like, they don't really know what to comment. So therefore, if you complete the whole video, I give you a random emoji each time and comment those below. If you complete the entire video, it really helps out the algorithm. So for now, let's do a sunshine emoji. So anything with the sun since summer is here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.